Hello everyone. Our job for today is implementing static and dynamic NAT. Part 1. Configure dynamic NAT with PAT. Step 1. Configure traffic that will be permitted for NAT translations. On R2, configure a standard access list named R2 NAT that uses three statements to permit the three private address spaces. 192.168.10.0 slash 24. 192.168.20.0 slash 24 and 192.168.30.0 slash 24. Step 2. Configure a pool of addresses for NAT. Configure R2 with a NAT pool named R2 pool that uses the first address in the 209.165.202.128-30 address space. The second address is used for static NAT later in part 2. So the address used is 209.165.202.129. Step 3. Associate the named access list with the NAT pool and enable PAT. Step 4. Configure the NAT interfaces. So we configure IP NAT inside for interface, S0 slash 0 slash 0, S0 slash 0 slash 1, and NAT 0 slash 0. For interface, S0 slash 1 slash 0, we configure IP NAT outside. Part 2. Configure static NAT. The global address used for the local.pka server is 209.165.202.130.
Part 3. Verify NAT Implementation. Step 1. Access services across the Internet. Step 2. View NAT Translations. That's all for this activity. Thanks for watching.